It should come as no surprise that Don Rickles routinely opens his act with a tune that evokes a bullfight. And that's because this comedy legend has made a career out of being confrontational. Stop the goddamn band. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you, for Christ's sake? It's a Mexican thing, it's important, for crying out loud. They're playing it wrong, and now the whole goddamn kitchen is gonna quit. This particular set is from the Stardust Casino in Las Vegas. I don't want the colored guy to butt in. And was prominently displayed in the 2007 Emmy Award winning film, Mr. Warmth, The Don Rickles Project. You Italian? What is, what is your heritage? German. German? Get a rope. I'll tell you this. What's your name? Fritz? Hans? What? Frank, my ass. Frank. Does this relax you, Frank? <laughs> that nickname, Mr. Warmth, is of course meant to be sarcastic. 40 million Jews, I got a Nazi sitting on a goddamn front. <laughs> Get the hell out of the way, for Christ's sake. I'm trying to do a show and I got a big ass sticking right here in the front. But as famed American author Gay Talese once said, Don Rickles is too offensive to be offensive. The breadth of Don Rickles' career is astonishing by any measure. He started out telling jokes in strip clubs in the 1950s. He landed a steady gig at New York's famed Copacabana. And Rickles was a Vegas regular during the golden age of the notorious Rat Pack. This comedy legend has insulted some of the biggest names in Hollywood, even the President of the United States. Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir and your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me to fly all the way from California to be here for this kind of money. <laughs> Don Rickles was born in Jackson Heights, New York in 1926, the only child of Max and Etta Rickles. Throughout his life, Rickles maintained a fiercely close relationship with his mother. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy and served in the Philippines during World War II. After the war, Rickles returned to New York and decided on a career in show business. With hopes of making it big on Broadway, he started acting at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts. It didn't take long before Rickles started earning supporting roles in a number of Hollywood films. Hey, come here, you guys. Listen to this. Dear Commander, Japanese Imperial Fleet, be it hereby known that on July 31st, 1943, the USS Nurka, under the command of Captain P.J. Richardson, sunk a Japanese destroyer. Hooray! One down, 20 fish to go. He became an extremely familiar face on television, guest starring on many of the most popular shows. He was a personal favorite of Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show. Come on, could I do it a couple of minutes? No! No! no. no. Give me a break, I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> this is a good jacket. You come in tomorrow night with cotton candy, you work the carnival. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, could I say something since I've seen you? I've gotten so old. <laughs> 19 years, John. That's right. Don't milk it anymore. Walk away. <laughs> Regardless of his abrasive onstage persona, Rickles has a reputation for being a loyal and true friend. Clark Gable, Clint Eastwood, Bob Newhart, and Frank Sinatra, among many other Hollywood A-listers, have called him their pal. And among younger comedians, Rickles is considered both a trailblazer and an inspiration. Many of them will tell you there is only one Don Rickles. <laughs>